Okay, rule number one is Poland, Lithuania. Trust no one. I've read a history book. I know what happens. Don't trust the Russians. I don't trust the Germans. Don't trust the Swedes. Fucking walls are closing in. Holy shit. The fuck, literally the first general I rolled is a five attack, free defense. Okay, first war against Crimea. And also the Ottomans, but the Ottomans are, uh, they have their own issues, so. I'm not particularly concerned. There we go. Okay, we're invading Hungary. And we're making Bohemia do all the work. There we go. Look, I actually have an iron province now. Muscovy just lost a war against Scandinavia and Novgorod. So we are striking while the iron is hot. Think I can call on the Bohemians? Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Launching battles. Oh god, I'm being slaughtered in this one. But I'm still winning just because of numbers. Attack Bordino with a 5 attack. Follow up on that. Yeah, I'm about to get attacked in Bordino. I have a free defense. Oh! <laughs> it's always weird when you're not the war leader because you just magically peace out. Okay. Cool, cool. I really don't want the Russians on my uh, on my ass this whole game, so... That's a pretty good fucking start. I don't want the Germans on my ass either. I'm gonna have to turn on the Bohemians at some point. Taking Bessarabia. Before... Before they can betray me. Moldovans are plotting something. I know it! I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Everyone always betrays Paul. Trust no one. Also. If you fucker... If... I will play New Coraland if and only if I hit a thousand subscribers, okay? Goodbye, Crimea. Okay, Bohemia is going in on Scandinavia for Pomerania, so I've justified my, war, my own war goal against Bohemia. Because if there's any chance of Fucking them up. It's now. I'm gonna have to mobilize because they outnumber me quite heavily. Okay, I'm doom stacking up. They're gonna get away from this. Come on. Yes! Oh my god. Outrolled? I'm being outrolled? Follow up? I just need to kill as many of them as I can. Here's a big battle. Oh, I'm actually going to beat them there. Oh, 
Oh my god, Outworld? Doesn't even matter, though. Holy shit. Nice thing about these puppets is they'll just seed shit for you. So you don't even have to worry about it. I swear to god, you go laser fair for one fucking second and your entire economy dies. Uh, people want to vote. If we let all the landed people vote, what next? We're just going to let anyone vote? It's ridiculous. We once again go in on the Muscovite oh, Scourge. God, that five five attack general is so OP. Come on. Oh, I caught him. Okay, this should be the last big battle. This is a good time to 9 0 them on the rolls. There we go. I'm stabbing through their name placement with my name placement. We're running in again on the Germans. Or the Bohemians. Whatever, they form Elbia, so... It's kind of like Germany. The point is, they scare me and I want them dead. Just running around this stack of like 150,000 men into anything I don't like. The Doom Stack meta is real. Just point and click. Right click these fuckers. Follow up into that 28k. Accept, uh, accept the piece. Looks a little bit less border gory. Once more, Poland-Lithuania occupies Moscow. And this time I'm planning to stay. So, I'm trying to puppet Egypt. It's going all raidish. Except for these people joined... But I don't have many troops. I'm doing this to try and get to, uh... Test out the 5 attack. See if it's good enough to deal with, like... Like, a lot of troops. They should have, like, 60-ish troops. But they're not... Civilized, so hopefully... I don't know. Hopefully we're all A-OK. -okay. There we 
There we go. Should grab the rest of the troops. Dude, I think... Oh no, I think their troops are shredded. And since they don't have access to the market, they can't replenish them. Which is perfect for me. I can't get goods for their units. I don't think anyone was expecting Polish-Lithuanian Raj, let alone me, but, uh, here we are. Mmm. I was just trying to do a little map painting in India when the Scandinavians declared war on me. Okay. Retreat. I'm being beat up by the Pescovians. Okay, we're going in on the Scandinavians. We have an org advantage. We, sh we have a number advantage. They have the tech. Our general's better. And we got them encircled. They got 70-some... No, they got 50-some. So Another confrontation. Blowing them out. Following up and wiping that. They're up to 74 brigades again. Because they're mobilizing. Now they're back down to 57. If there's the attack, they've rolled bad, though. Yeah, that line's definitely gonna hold for now. Probably. Yeah, they had no artillery in that. Or very, very little artillery. I'm gonna I'm gonna go after that because on the hopes I get the wipe the stack wipe. There we go. Well, I'm sure it won't be the last of war with Scandinavia. For now. We're gonna make Hungary our puppet. Yep, I'll call in Bohemia. Forgot to turn my military spending up. Probably be fine. Oh my god. It's militant socialist. You know what? I, I don't even care. Fuck it. Let him win. <laughs> well, Bohemia is now communist. Separate peace out. Hungry for puppet.
Remember that rule number one is Pol of Poland is don't trust anyone. And rule number two is especially don't trust the Germans, which is why we're puppeting Brandenburg. So they can't betray me. Also puppeted Moldova at some point. I don't think I ever mentioned that though. The Medul monarchy is declared on me for Bombay. So I'm against them and the Danubians. I have the Ottomans on my side and my puppets. Uh, we'll see what happens. We're gonna have to be real sneaky about this, but I still have my five attack, so if I concentrate my forces well enough, I should be able to destroy them piecemeal. Problem is, I just have real bad mill tech. The Danubians seem to be having issues with rebels, so that's good. So it'll be the dual monarchy, which will be the main enemy here. There are a lot of them. Luckily, the Catalonian speed bump should help. I forgot I had them as my allies. How's this battle going, at least? Oh, they rolled a zero. Oh, that's good. They pulled out. I have the numbers. I'm going to follow up. The Italians! Oh. Mwah. Oh, I'd never say... I, I, I'd never thought I'd ever say this before. But I love the Italians. They're trying to annex Sardinia, who's a, who's a feeling of the dual monarchy. The Italians... You beautiful bastards. Follow-up's going good? Oh my god, Prussia is sieging down the Isle of Man. Honestly based because it's a core and it will give them a uh, war exhaustion. I was going to say I can't add anything, but I can add war reps. Which will be awesome, because I bet the dual monarchy makes a good amount of money. There we go. War reps. And, uh... You know what they say about striking while the iron is hot. Liberating Pop Pomerania. Novgorod and Scandinavia were, were a really long time. And it's kind of fucked both of them up. Oh my god, my... Call the attack general out of there. Oh, they're encircled. Now I just have to win the actual battle. They have 80 brigades right now. <laughs> now they have 50. Yep, there's the piece. Ba bum But, um, there we go. Oh, we get Ashikanazi accepted? Cool. I know we got Rafinian, which is, you know, what we're, we're hopping. <clears throat> Going in on Bohemia, which is in the sphere of the Nadubian, so... 
That's how we're fighting. Also, I'm a presidential dictatorship now. There's the Battle of Munich. Oh, you think Italy will join in? Oh, they will. Oh, the Burgundians have joined in as well. In their own war. Oh no, the Danubians were going in on the Burgundians. And <laughs> I didn't even realize. Oopsie. I can release Saxony. Oh, I only giving me back two infamy. Ah, whatever. Still my puppet. Okay, we're taking Estonia from Scandinavia because I can get Estonian and Latvian accepted for a decision. Also, this time I think I'll have naval supremacy because I have 20 ironclads, which isn't a lot, but, uh, Scandinavia's kind of been on fire for a while. They've just been continually at war with, like, Novgorod and then Muscovy and then the Nubians and such, and it's, uh, they've been really falling apart, so I'm gonna gank them. That's the Estonian War. So I've been conquering some of Africa, and I've just been organizing it into the, the states for decisions on the HPM, because this is the HPM version. You can organize, like, Sudan and stuff, and then you can release them, and it sets Polish to the main culture. Because I don't really want to worry about actually defending any of this. Uh, and the bright side is, scramble for Africa, it takes... No infamy to take these, but I can release them. And it's only two infamy down from the base game, which of uh, five infamy for releasing a puppet, but still. So now I have a lot of free infamy. And part of what I'm going to do with it is Puppet Bohemia. Which, of course, allied to the Danubians. So I'll be at war with them as well. Or not. Oh, or, uh... Or the Nadubians are gonna chicken out. Very well. Bro, I just fought an entire war against the Danubians. And also, technically, the, the uh... Dual monarchy, although they... Kind of got their own problems. And I forgot to record every... I forgot to record every bit of it. I built up a... Just a puppet state. It's like the Eastern Bloc, basically. I built a giant a buffer of puppets to protect me. Requiring... The Coraland part of Coraland. Assaulting Copenhagen. Copenhagen. It's not actually going great. I have a five defense. End of the United Republic. There she goes. England, Ireland, and France. Now I think that's the map properly painted. The next game is going to be Belgium. On, uh, vanilla. Vanilla. 